would like to thank everyone who has come here today to honor my father um, and everybody who came yesterday to the visitation. It, well, I wrote down that it was truly going to be truly overwhelming, and now I look at you guys, and I probably could have put a couple of berries there, I guess. <laughs> but just the support from, I met people yesterday who hadn't seen my dad in 30 years, and waited in line for three hours to tell my family what he meant to them. I met a friend of a cop, a classmate of his father's, who I don't think he had seen him since he was taller, shorter than this podium, who felt the obligation to come and express his condolences to my grandmother, and it's been just outstanding how much people care. I'm a little bit off script, but um, I'd like to say that I've been unable to count, and those of you who know me, I've got, this is unable to count how many people. <laughs> have <laughs> just come up to me and said to ask for anything without hesitation and that they'd be here to support me. And there's just been an innumerable number of people who've come up to me and tragically shared their own stories of dealing with the similar situations and what they did to get through it, and that's meant a lot. Um, my mother is not yet ready to stand up here in front of all these people and if, I think if I realized how many people there was going to be, I might not have been. But she really sincerely appreciates how many people have done so much to express their condolences, and it means a lot to her. And we all really take solace in the, my dad, the fact that my dad meant so much to so many people. Uh, to get onto a lighter note, there's a grave injustice which needs to be corrected which is that yesterday at the visitation we had a number of photos of my dad and a lot of people were saying I can't believe how black his hair used to look and if my dad were here and most of us who were particular or Andrew and Julie would know this my dad did not have gray or white hair contrary to popular belief when I was in second grade we went trick-or-treating and he took me out to make sure I didn't get lost or get into trouble and I was dressed as Batman and he was dressed as the gray-haired butler outfit <laughs> And as we all know, my dad's hair was not, was not gray, it was black, so he had to dye his hair gray, and this was, this was a long time ago, and it was very well, and it never came out. <laughs> oh. And he, he really, that was a joke, but he really didn't tell me that. <laughs> I think they told me when I was a junior year in high school that I was a joke. <laughs> oh yeah, junior in college. <laughs> but um, returning to the matter of hands, those of you who come from out of town and aren't familiar with the Dover Sherburne community might be wondering why we're doing this at a, at a high school of all places. And that's because the, for the last 10 plus years of my father's life, his passion was his work in the Dover Sherburne Boosters. Um, he, uh, he held numerous leader leadership positions, including an unprecedented three terms as president. And I thought that that was fitting, given that his name was Franklin. And I've been meaning to ask my grandmother, or I'll ask you now, what was he named after FDR? He was named after his grandfather? Okay, I've been meaning to ask you that, and I should have done it in private. <laughs> My dad and I had a kind of conversation several years ago about how Franklin was a very popular name when he was a youngster. <laughs> except for my current roommate in college, whose name's Frankie. Literally, that's his given name. <laughs> but anyways, back to the matter at hand. Um, during his involvement, the Boosters accomplished many things which improved the life of the community and its children. Uh, when I got here to high school in 2002, we were the only school in the league who couldn't have Friday night football games or any nighttime athletic events because we had no lights. 
We couldn't have track meets when I joined the track team because our field didn't meet the standards of the State Athletics Association. Now we have lights, we have a new track, and we have a new turf field, which was mentioned earlier, that my dad was instrumental in helping install. He was also responsible for the creation of the DS Boosters Triathlon, an event which continues to be held every fall. The people swim in the, in the local town pond, and then they bike to the high school, and then they run a big lap around the grounds, which finish, culminates with a lap around the uh, new track, which they helped install. Um, I should also mention that prior to his involvement in the Boosters, he and my mom were both actively involved in the Dover Sherburn Education Fund. And the fact that he and my mom dedicated so much of their time to the betterment of me and my siblings and my peers just underscores how lucky I was, able, I was to be able to have them as parents and as mentors and as friends.